Hello everybody. So I have been using since yesterday the Xbox full screen experience on my ROG Ally Z1 Extreme. And I was using Buzzite before for a long time. It was pretty much flawless most of the time. And um, I wanted to see how this is because I was not really using this device almost at all. Except some very specific situations and very specific games. And I thought, alright. I do have Game Pass, PC Game Pass right now and uh, things would align pretty well if I go on and use it and check out how this thing works. So after taking a lot of time uh, to you know, get everything back to latest update, I didn't do any debloating, I didn't do anything of the sort. The, what I did was run the ASUS Cloud Recovery, get it completely clean, do all the updates and then after I did all the updates I followed the guide from uh, Deck Wizard. It was amazing. It was so on top, two minutes tops, just put some commands and nothing. Like the things that you have to do on Steam Deck is way worse than that. So it was pretty easy guide to follow. I did it and I was able to put it on. And at the start it was acting very weird. I think they had to automatically or mention it somewhere that you need to be using the controller gamepad mode because if you don't you are going to encounter issues where that the controller that's supposed to be a controller doesn't really work and because it doesn't work then you're gonna have a bad experience when you're trying to work stuff that's supposed to be working so uh, besides that, I encountered some bugs when it came to alt-tabbing and uh, when it came to trying to launch some things. But the more I use it, uh, the more I try to, you know, just sidestep some of the issues and not really get uh, much of trouble. So, for example, one of the things that I saw that it's still able to show is that if I change the resolution now on here, and uh, this change is completely fine here, but if I go back to, to big picture mode, this is now messed up. So that is not, uh, that does not scale on everything very easily, and that's not really cool, but I guess they will eventually get it right. But as if it is for right now, uh, some of the things are not perfectly nailed to be seamless. But they have done pretty good effort to get most of the stuff and I think that's that's all right like for me this so far works way better than anything Windows ever had in terms of uh, handheld experience so this for me is pretty good from what you had beforehand now is it close to SteamOS or Buzzite uh, to what it offers not really I have to praise it though because when uh, it eventually got out and they were, some people were talking about that they had experience with this device and they were saying that you cannot install uh, Steam games unless you go to Windows Desktop. Maybe it was a mistake from this person speaking but you can totally do that so you don't really have to fear anything. You don't need to get out of the Xbox full experience thing because at least on the Asus cloud thing, it downloads everything, everything was already there. The only thing I had to download myself was the GeForce uh, Cloud, uh, which is here. When it shows up. Now, the only thing I have to say as well is uh, things get a little bit finicky when both of the things, you will have to, I think you will have to turn this off, like the, uh, whatever this is called, I forgot the asus thing uh, armory crate yes the armory crate if you are using this thing uh, you will have to stop it from opening it by itself because sometimes it bugs and it's weird uh, but yeah like the only thing i downloaded and i put here is the geforce now thing which is pretty cool you can put it there uh, it's still way better than trying to put everything on the xbox thing the xbox thing sometimes doesn't really a detecting easy but uh, in my experience everything else works pretty much fine here 
Uh, I have played, I have launched Gaze multiple times from here. Let, let's check out uh, Silent Hill, how it launches, how it works. And again, I'm going to stress that this is not going to be a test to see performance and stuff because I haven't optimized anything. I'm completely on purpose going out of the box experience without try harding and trying to get all the G helper stuff and everything that I used to have before to work perfectly here. Because I want to see the experience, how it's going to be for someone that won't really bother to do those things, right? And uh, yeah, because I'm pretty sure like there are going to be a lot of videos about people that already know what they're doing. And I'm trying to do this with the perspective of someone that probably doesn't know and because I have forgotten a lot of the stuff myself on how to do them for Windows and specifically ROG Ally. So I thought it was an interesting thing to, to see here. Now, the games so far that I have played, uh, they perform fine. Like here, right now, I'm running on 20 watts. Uh, this game, I had a lot of trouble to get it to running well on the Steam Deck, but here it runs way better. You have the VRR, you have everything like that, so it works pretty well. Uh, Silent Hill F. Uh, so I will definitely recommend it for this uh, machine as well. If you still have it and you haven't played this game, I think it's pretty uh, good game to run here. And uh, let's check out what happens when we go alt up here, right? Like you can see that the Steam Deck, uh, the Steam Big Picture mode is here. And you can go in there, you can see whatever is available there, you can close stuff. Oh, you see, sometimes if you open Armory Crate, then it doesn't close, whatever. Uh, sometimes you're going to encounter some bugs like that. Now, the problem with these machines is that you will have to set a macro to have an Xbox button uh, because this one doesn't have an Xbox button. It was one of the most bizarre things that I noticed about this device at the start. So I have a macro here for an Xbox button and you can get here the, the thing just like you're pressing the Xbox button. You can see uh, we have the games uh, you can change them on the fly. I'm not sure. And you can change what some settings here that they have. Uh, one thing that I will immediately say to go and do is to disable some stuff from uh, notifications like when I'm taking some screenshots or something it's always annoying that something pops up and I have made this now my thing so now I don't get any of these things outside of that I think that's an armory crate thing so yeah overall it works I'm not gonna say that it's better than the Steam OS or anything like that because it's not um, a lot of the things still need to be using other things although for all of the things i'm gonna say that when i had it on steam os before on, on buzzite and i changed it to windows and everything that i did i only ever used this the controls that are available here i did not do anything else i did not use specific like keyboards or like something like external nothing everything i did was touch screen and using the rog ally shortcuts and everything so for me i think it is doable to do a lot of stuff with this it's definitely way more polished than when it first came out and definitely since the last time i played on windows myself so if you can follow the guide from deck wizard if you have one of these I think it's definitely worth it and it's going to be getting better and better when we get the final build, I'm pretty sure. Like probably because this is on like a, a beta or something, uh, it will take a while to improve. But when they nail it down, I'm pretty sure everyone's going to be benefiting from, with these handhelds. And uh, I'm going to be doing a mod for this handheld. I'm going to be changing the battery from 40 watts, which is the inside here, to 74 and uh, this is definitely going to get a new life for me because some games like this, like Silent Hill F or like Call of Duty and stuff like this that I wanted to play for a while, but I, I didn't want to bother getting Windows back in again and using how annoying it was to use, uh, to use everything from Windows. But now with this experience, 
it's actually not that bad. So I think if you if you have the ability, if you have this device, if you have the ability to tinker with this, uh, the more information they're getting from us as well, the better the Xbox full experience is going to be. Now, I want to say though something. Like I said in the previous video, do not buy the new devices just to get the Xbox full screen experience. I was expecting that this was going to get leaked for like months later, right? But it got leaked so early and you know, it works. It works fine. I won't say like it's perfect and flawless. Hell, even even Steam OS for the longest time you couldn't go to buy games without everything being completely bugged. Like you try to watch the video and it wouldn't work. Like uh, it will cut in the middle or it wouldn't even open and stuff like that. And recently they fixed it after all this time. So even SteamOS was not like perfect, perfect. But this is definitely a really big step for Windows. Uh, starting to get this together and uh, try to do their thing. Now, let's check out what happens if I choose to, to put Hollow Knight. Okay, so it's gonna try to launch it immediately. It doesn't give me any warning about, uh, like, oh, you have another application running or another game running. It ignores all that, since you're probably doing this consciously. Okay. Okay. Did it open? Did it not open? What happened? Okay. Okay, so it opened. The bad thing here is I can hear the Silent Hill game still. So it's not like like quick resume that you, it stops working. Oh, what is going on here? Something weird is going on here. Let's check out if I chose this. So did it close the game before? But I can still hear the silent hill sounds. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Okay, I think I messed up too much with this, but um, yeah, maybe maybe it's not ready for the two game thing. Okay, no, no, it's here. Okay, all right. So it never closed. I just had to press resume, I guess. What happens if I click on Hollow Knight? Okay, if I press back, it works. What if I do this? Oh my. Okay. <laughs> uh, Woohoo! Okay. So I don't know exactly what is bugged here, but uh, you can see like stuff like this is still work in progress, right? This is still a better, but uh, again, that is why I'm stressing like the other video. Do not get this thing for $1,000 to get this experience because it is going to be better. Like all the things everyone going to tell you, if you buy something like this, it's still an experimental product. It's still a PC. It is not a console. So yeah, there is going to be some hiccups here and there. That is the PC life these days, and to be honest, was always. So yeah, take it with a grain of salt, and uh, hopefully you can enjoy the Xbox full screen experience whenever you want yourself. If you buy the new device, or if you have another of these devices, anything that uses Windows as the main thing when you buy it, 
will be able to use this and I'm pretty sure you're gonna have a fine time. Sure, there are gonna be bugs, maybe you have to do some optimizations, but outside of that, I think it should be fine. So yeah, there goes the video. Thank you for watching. Hope you have a great day and see you next time. I will definitely record a video for uh, making the mod for the battery on the back. And uh, hopefully this will make the device way more usable because right now, outside of doing this thing, I haven't used it in a very long time. Anyway, there it goes. Thank you for watching. See you next time.